Now the next chapter we are going to study is probability. Now what is probability? Probability gives us a mathematical measure of uncertainty. How? I'll explain you how. Now look at the statement or consider a statement it may rain today. Correct? Now it may rain today gives us a, a thought that it may or may not rain today. But we do not know that what is the probability or how many how much chances are there for it to rain today correct but if i say a statement that there is a 50 percent chance that it will rain today correct now this gives us a mathematical a mathematical value a mathematical value in terms of percentage that it may rain today and the chances of raining are exactly half or 50 percent now consider another statement that says that I may or may not pass the mathematics examination. But it does not tell us that what are my chances to pass the examination or what are my chances to fail the examination. But if I say that there are 10% chances that I may fail the mathematics examination, it means that 90% I am going to pass. But there is a slight chance that is there is a 10% chance that I may fail. Now probability, what does probability gives us? Probability gives us the mathematical value for uncertainty. Probability is a measure of uncertainty, correct? Now we all know what probability is and how does it help us. Now, the, what next we have here is uh, are some terms related to probability, correct? Now the first term here is experiment. Experiment is any action that results in an outcome. Like you perform experiments in the labs, those are all experiments. The experiment can be switching on a fan. It results in outcome of rotating of the fan. Experiment can be throwing a ball. It results in the ball going that side. Experiment can be tossing a coin. It results in either heads or tails. Now this is all experiment, correct? Now the second part over here, the second term here says uh, random experiment. Random experiment is any experiment that yields more than one outcome correct and those outcomes are not known to us correct it uh, we do not know that it will yield outcome a or outcome b or outcome c now i'll give you an example for random experiment random experiment uh, it can be rolling a dice or it can be tossing a coin while we toss a coin we do not know that what will uh, it go when it goes down what will face the upper side it will be heads or tails what will, what is going to come we don't know correct so that is a random experiment when we roll a dice we do not know what is going to come it can be anything from 1 to 6 so it is a random experiment but consider uh, an experiment which says uh, we i am just throwing a ball on the ground I know that the ball is going to rest on the ground, so it is just an experiment. But when I say that I am tossing a coin or I am uh, rolling a dice, I do not know it is going. What what is the outcome going to be? It can be heads or tails. It can be anything between one to six. So random experiment. What are the examples? It can be uh, tossing a coin. or rolling a dice correct now the next term here says sample space what is sample space sample space is all the outcomes that can occur in a random experiment very simple in its in its own definition sample space is uh, sample space includes all the outcomes those are likely to occur in a random experiment those can occur in a random experiment correct so what would be the sample space for rolling of a dice tell me the sample space for rolling of a dice is what all can occur it can be one two three four five or six it can be anything between one to six correct so in rolling a dice, the sample space is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Correct? Now what is an event? Event is an subset of sample space which is related to the random experiment. 
means in rolling of a dice an event can be occurrence of 5 an event can be occurrence of even numbers an event can be occurrence of 2 an event can be occurrence of number of number less than or equal to 3 these are all events correct understood very simple now the fifth part says equal likely outcomes equal or likely outcomes are the outcomes those are equal likely to occur like when I throw the dice it is equally likely that it will occur uh, that it will uh, come out to be 1 2 3 or 5 or 6 correct we uh, there is no preference given to any number there is no preference when I toss a coin there is no preference given to heads or tails it can be anything so those outcomes those are equal likely those are those have the same probability of occurring are equal likely outcomes and over here in probability the syllabus we have all the outcomes are going to be equal likely equally likely okay so equal likely is whose probability of occurrence is the same now what is the definition of probability probability is the probability of occurrence of an event e now suppose there is an event e the probability of occurrence of an event e written as p e is p e is equal to number of favorable outcomes or to e divided by the total number of possible outcomes of the experiment what is p e number of favorable outcomes divided by the number of possible outcomes of the experiment correct now i'll give you a few examples this is the formula for probability or this is also the definition now i'll give you some examples say we roll a dice and we need to find the probability of occurrence of 5. Now, what are what is the sample space? The sample space is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Correct. Now, what is the probability that 5 will occur? The probability has, gives a what is the formula? Number of favorable outcomes upon number of possible outcomes. How many favorable outcomes are there? There is one favorable outcome, correct? Only this over here, that is 5. And what are the total number of outcomes? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. The total number of outcomes are, possible outcomes are 6. So, PE is equal to 1 by 6. Now, another example is that find the probability of getting a number less than or equal to 3. Correct? In While rolling a dice, find out the probability of getting a number less than or equal to 3. Now, what is the probability for that? Number of favorable outcomes upon total number of out, uh, possible outcomes. Number of favorable outcomes are 1, 2 and 3. Correct? Why? We need a number that is less than or equal to 3. 1 is less than 3. 2 is less than 3. 3 is equal to 3. So, we have 1, 2 and 3 as the favorable outcomes upon total number of outcomes that are again 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 and 6. So, the total number of outcomes are 6. Number of favorable outcomes are 3. So, the, the probability is 3 by 6, that is 1 by 2. Understood? Very simple examples. I hope you understand this. Now, this is the definition of probability. It's, now, there are some other terms related to probability. The first term says sure event. What is a sure event? Sure event as is an event that has a probability of 100% or the probability of 1. That means that that event is sure to occur in a random experiment that event is sure to occur now imagine an a random ex taken random experiment of rolling a dice getting a number 5 has a probability of 1 by 6 we've already done that but getting a number less than or equal to 6 has a probability of what are the number of favorable outcomes for that 1 2 3 4 5 6 all these numbers are equal to or less than 6 what are the total number of first possible outcomes? Again, 6. So, the probability is 1. Correct? So, it is there is a 100% chance that in a random experiment uh, of rolling a dice, the number would be less than or equal to 6. So, that is a sure event. Correct? 
Now what is an impossible event? Impossible event is an event that has zero probability of occurrence. Now what does that mean? Now in rolling a dice, if I say that find the probability of getting the number 7, that has zero probability. Why? Because we know that in a dice there are numbers only up to 6. So we cannot get a number 7. So that, that option is ruled out. So number of favorable outcomes there would be 0. So the probability is also 0. That is an impossible event which has no probability of occurrence or zero probability of occurrence. That is an impossible event. Now what is an elementary event? Elementary event is an event that has the favorable outcomes of only one. That has only one favorable outcome. Like for example, if I say that in rolling a dice, if I say in rolling a dice, the find the probability of getting the number 5 or getting the number 2. What are the favorable outcomes for getting the number 5? Number of favorable outcomes is 1. Correct? So number of favorable outcomes is 1. That means it is an elementary event. But if I say that find the probability of getting even numbers when I roll a dice, what is the probability of getting even numbers? What all even numbers are there in all this? 2, 4 and 6. These all three are even numbers. So what is the probability of getting even numbers? Number of favorable outcomes are 1, 2 and 3. So number of favorable outcomes are 3 upon the total number of outcomes is 6. That is probability is 1 by 2. But this is a compound event. Why? Because number of favorable outcomes are more than 1. So if number of favorable outcomes are only 1, is only 1, that means it is an elementary event. But if number of favorable outcomes are more than 1, it means it is an compound event. Simple, understood. Now what is an, what is a complementary event? Now complementary event is an event that is exact opposite of, a, of an event given before. Now let me explain you how. First of all, I'll tell you what is the notation for a complementary event. Complementary event has a notation of PE dash or PEC. Now these are the notations for a complementary event. Now complementary event as I told you is the exact opposite of the event that has occurred or uh, that has that is already given. Now for example if I say in rolling a dice the event is getting a number less than or equal to 2. Correct? Getting a number less than or equal to 2 is the event. So getting a number greater than 2 would be complement of that event or would be the complementary event to that event. Understood? If getting a number less than or equal to 2 is our event, then getting a number greater than 2 is the complementary event to our event. Understood? Clear enough, it is very easy, correct? Now in uh, tossing a coin, uh, getting heads is a, uh, getting heads is a, is our event. So not getting heads is our complementary event. Simple enough. So we've done complementary event also. Now there are some other things also that you need to remember. Now that is, uh, let E be an event. Now if, imagine E is an event, so PE always lies between 0 to 1. I've already explained you this. We've seen examples that the probability of occurrence of any event always lies between 0 to 1. For, for an impossible event, it is equal to 0. And for a sure event, it is equal to 1. For all the other events, the probability lies between 0 to 1. Clear? Now, the probability of complementary event of E is equal to 1 minus PE. Now let me explain this to you with an example. Now say that the our event is, uh, so first of all our random experiment is rolling a dice. Our event is getting a number equal to or less than 2. Now what is the probability of getting a number less than or equal to 2 in rolling a dice? See the sample space over here. A number of, a number of favorable outcomes for getting a number less than or equal to 2 are, 1 and 2 are the possible outcomes. Or are the favorable outcomes. So the probability of getting a number less than or equal to 2 is 
नंबर ऑफ फेवरेबल आउटकम्स वुड बी टू नंबर ऑफ पॉसिबल आउटकम्स इज वन टू सिक्स नंबर ऑफ पॉसिबल आउटकम्स आर सिक्स सो द प्रोबिलिटी इज वन बाय थ्री करेक्ट नाउ वट इज द प्रोबिलिटी ऑफ इट्स कॉम्प्लीमेंट्री इवेंट वॉट इज द कॉम्प्लीमेंट्री इवेंट फॉर गेटिंग अ नंबर लेस देन और इक्वल टू टू इट इज गेटिंग अ नंबर ग्रेटर देन टू सिंपल सो गेटिंग अ नंबर ग्रेटर देन टू वॉट इज द प्रोबिलिटी ऑफ गेटिंग अ नंबर ग्रेटर देन टू ओवर हेयर नंबर ग्रेटर देन टू आर थ्री फोर फाइव एंड सिक्स सो गेटिंग अ नंबर ग्रेटर देन टू नंबर ऑफ फेवरेबल आउटकम्स आर फोर टोटल नंबर ऑफ आउटकम्स आर सिक्स करेक्ट नाउ इफ टोटल नंबर ऑफ नाउ वी हैव द प्रोबिलिटी ऑफ पीई एंड वी हैव द प्रोबिलिटी ऑफ इट्स कॉम्प्लीमेंट्री इवेंट दैट इज पीई डैश नाउ वॉट डज दिस प्रॉपर्टी से इट से प्रॉबिलिटी ऑफ कॉम्प्लीमेंट ऑफ एन इवेंट दैट इज पीई डैश is always equal to 1 minus p e correct now just check it from here if we have p e dash as 4 by 6 1 minus p e is 2 by 6 so 1 minus 2 by 6 is 4 by 6 so this condition is satisfied so for every complementary event the probability of complementary event would be always 1 minus the probability of the event and it is also true vice versa so now the last property says sum of all the probabilities of elementary events in an experiment is 1 as i explained to you earlier what is an elementary event it is an event that has the favorable outcome of only 1 like getting the number 5 in an uh, in the random experiment of rolling of a dice or getting a number 2 in the random experiment of rolling of a dice so if we see that uh, probability of getting a number 5 is 1 by 6 we all know that probability of getting a number 2 is again 1 by 6 we know that same way is probability of getting each of these numbers individually is 1 by 6 so if we add all those 1 by 6 plus 1 by 6 plus 1 by 6 six times we get the number 1 so that is what is said in this property the sum of all the pro, sum of probabilities of all the elementary events in an random experiment is always 